All right, so a new invention here. Um, I was gonna do it with some lemon, but I decided to do it with these mandarin oranges that came in um, very light syrup. Um, not really sweet at all. Um, matter of fact, I don't really like overpowering sweetness. Um, I've been a vegan for like nine years now. I eat one meal a day. I do as best I can to make the large percentage of my diet raw. And um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so sweetness. Um, kind of kicks in too much when you're a vegan for a long time and when you just drink basically just a, a, a smoothie drink like this um, that's not that sweet or just tons of water and stuff um, salt and, and sugar tend to be like overpowering if it's too much at times like for instance before I was a vegan and I if I had a peanut butter that only had like say one or two grams of um, sugar in it that was natural right um, it would be like oh this was blah at, you know growing up as a kid or even into my 20s or something and um, if it had four or five grams of sugar it seemed normal to me now now three grams of sugar is way too high uh, and I buy you know if I buy uh, cashew butter or something like that it, it's just you know plain cashews usually raw and beat up and it's usually only one gram of sugar and it's perfectly fine for me so that's the big difference and that goes way beyond that as well beyond salt or sugar it goes into everything else in your diet and you weed out tons of things uh, mentally emotionally you become more clear and stable a lot of a lot of different things so let me show you over here so I just took some raw ginger that I bought and I boiled it and then I simmered it for a while it was like a full pot I don't know how much this is but whatever you see in the blender is all this um, and I let it sit overnight in the um, refrigerator and I was gonna do lemon because lemon ginger is really good and I've had it before a lady gave me a packet um, of ginger and lemon and uh, honey crystals um, but I wouldn't buy it because I told her I won't buy it so don't give it to me anymore because it comes in stuff that you can't recycle that's why I bought the raw ginger to try something like it and then I realized it didn't have any raw honey and I, and I didn't have any um, coconut sugar or anything um, to use as sweetener that's why I decided to go with the orange over the lemon and I thought, well, this would be cool, too, if it comes out um, pretty good. You know, that would be neat. Ginger, orange, it sounds good. I think I've flavored food like that before. Um, I'm pretty sure in maybe the Asian countries that that's probably normal. Uh, let me taste this one more time. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's It barely has a sweetness, so it's not really bringing the flavor together. Because, like I said, these mandarin oranges don't really have too much flavor. And it was a very light syrup in there anyway a matter of fact it's a very very light syrup or something like that normally when i can't get fresh oranges and i buy them in a can like this i try to get them in just water if not um they usually go in a smoothie or a um my dinner like salad or a wrap and i just pull them out with a slotted spoon so i don't even use that but since i was making this i said well let me use it and see what i can do but even for me the sweetness is is there but barely and it's not bringing the flavor out tremendously, but it is good. The ginger and the orange, and here's my favorite cream right here, this organic coconut milk by this company here, because it's always mostly cream. And here we go on the back here. Ah, come on, camera. And let's see. I'll read it to you. Uh, it's water and guar gum and coconut and it's all organic oh well anyway um, I like that one so it's just the cream the orange and the ginger boiled and it's really excellent really really excellent what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the freezer and let it kinda of freeze up like a slushy um, and then that way when I reblend it it'll be nice and ice cold but so there if you people like ginger and orange and you never done it before if you've done it in food and you like that flavor it's really nice. The really good thing about it is ginger lemon was good, but it had that kind of kick to it. The lemon and the ginger together kind of makes it too spicy, I guess, sometimes. This orange kind of blends down the ginger taste a little bit, but what I really notice about it, really, really refreshing. Um, it brings out a nice tropical refreshing type um, drink where you could like l really enjoy it. Like I could imagine this on a cold, excuse me, a really warm day and this thing ice cold. Alright, so if you like that, give it a try. Alright, lots of love to you. Bye-bye.